What's up, everybody? They're running. Uh, so we had a bad week. Uh, a lot of you guys know that I'm working out of town. My son's been here helping me out. Uh, it was in my thank you video if you watched that. So, um, Anyway, I've been working out of town and uh, been in and out. My son, my stepdaughter, and my fiance have been uh, here taking care of uh, the fish. And unfortunately, you know, my son, he, he does know about salt water, but he doesn't know anything about fresh. And he learned a lesson. And, uh, well, this is what happened. Um, I'm going to flip this around and show you, and then we'll just explain it to you. It's the easiest way to do it. So, here we go. There's the dog. So you guys see that wood right there snapped? Snapped on that end, snapped on this end. Um, the 40 breeder went through this, and unfortunately, you know, it says it's rated at 800 pounds per shelf. It couldn't even hold a 40 gallon tank, which is filled up, I mean, with everything in it, maybe 300 pounds, and that's like stretching it. So, as far as I knew, we had another 500 pounds to go before we break, but apparently not. So, that wood snapped off, and uh, I'll turn around to show you where the tank is now. So, the tank right now is on the floor. Um, it was on a shelf just like that, now it's on the floor. Um, sits underneath my guppies there. So, anyway, this thing is down and out. Um, lost all the fish because he had to drain the tank didn't know that uh, he was supposed to put the chlorinator in it which I do have here he just he didn't know it's not his fault I blame myself I should have told him I know better but uh, at any rate so I lost all the imbunas not a happy camper right now but what can you do it is what it is so we're gonna reorganize this tank when the lights come on I've got a little something special for y'all to check out they're in the bags right there you might be able to see one um and then uh well I'll, I'll show you what i got to replace them so lost all the imbunas but you know all hope is not lost uh we are going to go ahead and uh, restock the tank today and uh, i'm going to get all this rock probably out of here and just fill this with driftwood that's the plan right now um so i'm going to get this rock out of here and probably put it in with the other south americans Possibly, I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna do something with the holy rock. It's a lot of rock, so Unfortunately, I am gonna pass snails from this tank to another But uh, it is what it is. I've got another uh, You know another tank to put these in so that's what I'm gonna do. So anyway um, That's where I'm at right now guys when I get these things um, Out in the tank get the driftwood in get it all set up. I'll show you what I did. Alright, so let's talk about what's in the tank. You guys can see a fish right there. And if it would turn sideways, yeah, it'd do a little bit. But, um, so what we have in here is uh, electric blue cars. I've got one that's hiding behind this rock right here. They're just eight, so they're all going to hide from me. That's just awesome. See their heads poking in and out of there. So we added some driftwood to uh, to the tank. I wish I could really show you these fish. I'm sorry, guys, but um, we added some driftwood to this. Um, it, all it's going to do is just soften the water a little bit. You guys can see I got some blue rocks there. It came from uh, came from the pond, and the stuff's just been stuck in there. Uh, I had all my driftwood sitting in the pond. You can see the algae that's on here. I love the look. Uh, some people do, some people don't. Me, personally, I do. I love it. So, um, you guys can see the tank's on the ground. So, film this. I'm like on my knees. And it's not fun. So, we did uh, we did go with five electric blue cars. I've got one more electric blue that we're going to put in here uh, with these. I'm sorry, not electric. A regular blue car that's going to go in here with these guys. Uh, it's a male. It's pretty dominant in the tank that he's in, but it's just not enough space for him. So... I'm going to go ahead and move him out and uh, put him in this tank. So, <laughs> I wonder if I can coax them out some way. I guess not. I get them too good at hiding spots. But as they get used to us, they're going to come out. I know all you're getting is a reflection and a bunch of water marks. And that's not really doing it for you. And you're like, dude, where's the fish? And I'm like, dude, sorry. But we are kind of at the top of the tank. 
They're all hiding back there in the corner. I got two of them back there. I've got one in the front right here behind that red lava rock there. And I don't know where the other two are. They're kind of just chilling in their own place. So they haven't really established yet, like who's dominant, and, you know, all that stuff yet. But soon they will. <laughs> you can't see me. But um, anyway, uh, we'll have a dominant male in here. I'm going to guess. Oh, look. There they are. Look at that nice electric blue color on those guys. They're beautiful fish. I just love Akaris, guys. I love them. I love breeding them. Uh, if you guys remember, if you look back on my 120, you're going to see uh, the regular blue Akaris that I had. Uh, I've got one left from that batch that uh, didn't get sold. So he is going to be added to this tank. And I'm excited to do that. Um, he will be the dominant male. He's a little bit bigger, maybe like half an inch bigger than the ones that are in here. These guys will get up to like five, six inches. Um, so having, you know, six in this 40 gallon breeder is going to be plenty. Um, not going to have any issues there. But uh, really excited for the to, uh, to keep this fish. And I hope you guys uh, enjoy the journey with me. You guys can see they just kind of pop out. They're still exploring me, trying to figure out who I am. I uh, just fed them, like I said, so if I had fed them and filmed them, well, it would have worked out better. But it didn't happen that way, so. <laughs> They'll get used to me. So, anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, this is what we did with the tank after losing the Ambunas. Uh, I am upset about the Ambunas. I was just like devastated, actually. I love those fish that were breeding. I, you know, we had several of them. Uh, the Aussie were just my favorite, but uh, it is what it is. It's hard for me right now to replace, you know, all those fish. Uh, we had about 30 in the tank between adults and fry, so you know it's not easy to just go out and buy 30 new Ambunas and throw them in here. I'm sorry, but uh, anyway, I'm excited to get these uh, Lutcher Blue cars. I got a steal on them. Couldn't complain one bit. They were sold to me as assorted African cichlids at $5.99. Buy one, get one free. And I love it when pet stores don't know what they have. These fish sell here locally at $16.99. So, yeah, again, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. So, uh, at any rate, guys, as these guys grow and, uh, you know, they start showing off those, those huge adult colors, uh, obviously we're going to keep... Uh, Keep filming them, you know, maybe give you updates every two or three months, uh, show you how they're doing, the kind of size they've got on them and the colors. But uh, anyway, check us out on Facebook, and that's Psychotic Aquatics YouTube. Uh, you know, we love for you guys to share your your DIY projects as well as uh, your fish tanks and just your, your general love for the hobby with us. We appreciate it. And uh, don't forget, if you're watching this or you're not subscribed, hit the button right there. We update you weekly on all the tanks. And, uh, you know, we'd be happy to, uh, you know, happy to go through uh, any kind of fish that I own here, saltwater or fresh. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go through them, talk about them. Like, you know, why do you have a thousand guppies? Well, because it's cool. And why do you feed your fish earthworms? <laughs> because it's fun to watch. So, anyway, shut lovers. Um, so, anyway, if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. And, uh, you know, we go through all the tanks pretty regularly. And I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Talk to you later. Peace. I wish I had one to say bye. That's that's the way we close these out. Hold on, maybe. Uh, oh, there's Kujo. Kujo. Can you come say bye? Cujo. Can you say bye, Cujo? And tell everybody bye for me? Say bye. Say bye. Cujo loves the camera. Alright, guys, we'll talk to you later. Hold on, I can't end it like that. You guys have to see this. Nicaraguan cichlid. Ah, oh, I scared them off. Look, they both have earthworms. They're like, dude, these are delicious. Geofago. Look at him. The guy right there is like 8 inches long. I had to show them off. Alright guys, no for real this time. Peace. Dude, eat your worm. Eat your worm. You love it. Eat it.